My name is Troy Souders, head basketball instructor for Gorilla Academy. As a basketball instructor, I have over 15,000 hours of personal basketball training experience, training players from the beginner to the professional level. As a seasoned professional in area basketball instruction, my goal is simple, assist you in taking your game to the next level. Do you have what it takes? Hello and welcome to Gorilla Academy. On this session of driveway drills, we're going to demonstrate for you the beginner level version of the wall ball wraparound passing drill. Assisting me is Brady. Brady's eight years old and what we're going to do is we're going to work on a simple ball fake with our established pivot foot. We're going to step out and Brady's going to wrap that pass around, bounce it off the wall and have it come back to himself. And one of the challenging elements that I've implemented here is I've just taken a simple pad that we had on our basketball goal and I've set it in front of Brady to work as a defender. The reason being is because we're working on a wraparound drill, I want Brady to work on establishing his pivot foot, and when he steps with the other foot, I want him stepping out and away from the defense, then wrapping that pass around the defender, bouncing it off the ground, getting it off the wall, and bringing it back. Now in this drill, you'll probably see a few times, especially at the beginner level, when Brady bounces it, may hit the wall, come back and hit the pad, he's just going to get it, reset himself. Not, not bad in this instance. But when he makes that mistake, what we're going to do is just reinforce on trying to get more power behind it so when he bounces off the wall, it comes up and over this pad right back into his hands. But what he's got to do is step out and extend and really snap that ball. So a hook pass is once you set your feet and you step out, you really step and then you take that one hand and you extend that ball out and snap it around the defense. Reason being is when defense is here and you're locked into position, you can't use your dribble and you're trying to get the pass to your teammate, sometimes you have to step out and around the defender, then deliver the bounce pass. So one of the challenging elements we're going to work with with Brady is he's right-handed. So you'll probably notice that he'll be strong with the right hand. Then when we go to left hand, you'll see he's probably just a little bit weaker. But the nice thing is that when you implement this drill, it's just a fundamental basic element, basic passing drill and a wraparound version that you could do at home by using the ball by using the wall and just a simple tool to act as a defender for him to work on those passing elements so he can develop his passing, increase his passing ability so when he goes back to the court of play those passing elements surface because we're doing some things in the driveway that he can do to, in order to increase his passing ability. So come right back we're going to demonstrate for you the beginner version of the wall ball wraparound passing drill. Alright here we go wall ball wraparound passing drill. Alright go ahead set your feet and give me a nice ball fake, step out and pass that ball. Nice, good one, good one. Square up again. There you go, nice. Keep going, I just want you to keep going. I want you to notice when he does his ball fake, we want to make sure that we stay on the ground. Okay, don't come up off your, don't come up off your pivot foot, because then it'll be a travel. We want to work on ball faking, keeping our feet on the ground, then stepping out and around. Good, reset our feet. Now again, Brady's eight years old, but if you'll notice, the strength level's an issue. And we're just gonna work on the elements that'll help him build this wraparound bounce pass. Nice ball fake, step around, good. Reset, go ahead, reset, fake. Ah, 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 ah. Now if you notice on that one, what happened? He came up off his feet. So if he comes up off his feet, what's that called? So travel. So we've gotta make sure that we maintain that pivot foot, it stays on the ground. So let the ball do the work with the fake, let the defender get off the ground, then you step it around. Reset ourselves, go ahead Brady, fake, wrap around, there we go. Keep going. Now if you need to with the beginner level player, if you need to go step by step and break it down for him, fake, step, wrap, pass. That's fine, just work up the basic elements depending on their age, depending on their skill ability. But this is just a basic drill. We're using the wall, we're using a ball, and we're just using a pad in order to be able to defense. If you notice, Brady's adjusting his defender, he knocks it out of the way, he just resets and goes again. That's a good one, Brady, set, nice, wrap around, Good job, excellent. And wrap, nice. Give me two more, fake, wrap around, step. Now really make sure that you step out the way from the defense. Ready, step, wrap around, good. Now the reason we wanna work stepping away from the defender is if you imagine in the game, you have, a gen you have somebody guarding Brady, he's right in his face. Brady's gonna have to step, keep that pivot foot down, step his other foot around the defender, then wrap that ball, just like that, excellent. And that's why we're working on it. Now watch this. Brady's nice and strong. Go ahead, keep going. Brady's nice and strong with his right hand, but now we're getting ready to switch to go to the left hand. You're going to tell a distinct difference because Brady's right-handed, so he has strength in his right arm, 
He's eight years old. He's got strength in the right arm, but now watch it. At eight years old, when we go left arm, you're going to notice a little bit weaker, not as much control in the direction of the pass where he wants it to go, but we need to work on these elements and balance up. So we're getting balanced work with the right hand, balanced work with the left hand. So here we go, Brady. Let's switch it up. We're going to make a subtle adjustment with our defender, slide him a little left. Now, in this particular instance, he's going to establish his right foot as his pivot foot because he's going to be stepping to the left. So set your footwork. And what we're going to do is perfect. This foot's going to be his pivot foot. Now he's going to step with his left foot and pass with his left hand. Now if you notice, see how he hit the wall? He doesn't have as much control because it's his left hand. But if we ignore that hand, what's going to happen is when he grows up, his left hand's always going to be extremely weak. His right hand's going to be strong. And coaches at the, at the higher levels are going to pick on that. They're going to notice. Not strong with the left hand, force him to the left hand. Force him to pass with the left hand, doesn't have as much control. But what we want to do in this instance, Simple basic drills, work on those elements, balance it up. Turn that weakness into a strength, turn that strength into a weapon. And that was perfect, do it again. Reset, ball fake, step out and around. That's right, reset, grab the ball, and go again. Ball fake, step out and around, nice, good job. Keep going. Now if you notice when he did that one, he was just a little weak in his pass, and the ball's hitting in front. He just picks it up, but we just want to keep working. We'll build that strength, we'll build the fundamental elements up, and he'll build that strength and endurance up from a wraparound passing standpoint where the more he does it, the stronger he's going to be. So in a game, sooner or later he'll surprise himself because he'll make one of these passes, but we're working on repetition. That strength will come as, as he gets older and time goes by, and he'll be able to go to the right or left with a nice wraparound pass. Step out, boom. Now make sure you keep that foot down, your established pivot foot. So set your foot, ball fake, step out and around. There you go, nice. Keep going. Ball fake, step out and around. Nice, do it again. What you don't want to do when you're at home is rush. So if you notice, Brady's performing this drill, but if he gets in a hurry, he doesn't set his footwork. So take your time, Brady, set your feet, go through it. Ball fake, ball fake, step out and around. Nice, good. Ball fake, step out and around. Good, do it again. Ball fake. Nice. Keep going. Give me three more, three good ones. Ball fake, step out and around. Good job, give me one good one. Really pop it in there. Set, wrap around the defense. Fake, good ball fake, nice, good. Give me one good one, run good one, really pop it. There we go, good. All right, if you notice from this particular drill, the wall ball wraparound drill, you can see Brady, beginner level player, he's really strong with his right hand, a little weaker with his left hand. But because we're using some basic tools, we're just using this wall, we're using this pad as a defender to give him a mock defender. That way he really does have to step out and around from the defense, then wrap that pass around with the right hand, bounce it off the wall, wrap it around with the left hand, bounce it off the wall. He's going to try to do 10 with the right hand, 10 with the left hand. Then he can go back and do whatever skill element he wants, whether it's ball handling, shooting, free throws. And then he can always come back and do another set of 10 with each hand just so he builds up those fundamental elements of the wraparound bounce pass. Good drill segment to add to his uh, passing components when he's working out in the driveway. And that's the wall ball wraparound passing drill, beginner level.